Hey, Mars, thanks for joining me today so we can discuss Floriad 2022 in the Netherlands. Thank you, Mindy, for having me. I'm very excited about this incredible opportunity that only comes to us every 10 years. I, I am so excited. I, I just can't even, I hate to say that I'm glad that it didn't happen in 2022, but I'm, I'm kind of glad it didn't happen in 2022 because now we can, oh, 2020, because now we can go in 2022. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're excited to be able to offer it on all six of our itineraries that include the city of Amsterdam. Oh, wow. Why don't you tell us what those itineraries are? Oh, we have the Rhine castles in Swiss Alps. We have uh, the Enchanting Rhine. We have um, the Best of Holland and Belgium. I love that one. Yeah, we have the Rhine and Mosul Splendors, the Delights, the Fairy Tales, the Vineyards. So we have all different itineraries that will include uh, Amsterdam in the Ports of Call. And the exciting part is that we're going to provide passage to Floriad for any guest on any of our itineraries that includes Amsterdam. Very cool. And what are the dates of those? I know it's a limited window, but it's a it's long April, limited window, right? April 14, 2022. It's for six months and it ends the 9th of October of 2022. So we've got the whole season to be able to um, allow our guests to really explore this amazing horticultural expo. We also, it's taking place in Almere, so it's just right outside of Amsterdam. So you can also, you know, you'll have time to go there, but then you'll also have time to enjoy the beautiful city of Amsterdam with over 200 museums. I love Amsterdam. I think it's fascinating. And I do too. Yeah, Floriad will have uh, about 2 million visitors. So people are coming from all over the world to see yes. this amazing display. And you know, 2020 was such a disappointing travel year that this will, this is a great opportunity to kick off good times. Oh, good times. absolutely. Absolutely. And the Netherlands and Holland, I, I mean, it's uh, in Belgium, excuse me, are absolutely have an amazing culture. So not only can you do the Rhine River all the way down to Switzerland and on the Mosul, but you can also do um, Belgium and Holland or the Netherlands and really get to see and immerse yourself into local cultures with the cheese tasting and the beer tastings. And we do a private uh, excursion into uh, one of the windmills, you know, because people live in the windmills. I love that. Uh, yeah, so we're doing a private excursion and uh, only Alma Waterways is offering that. So it will be a lot of, lot of fun. And on the Belgium and Holland and Belgium itinerary, I've done that one personally, absolutely love it. One of my favorites of all time. But there is so much history in Bruges and Brussels and World War II, and there's so much there. And then Amsterdam, you know, there's the Jewish heritage and all of that. So it's really a great opportunity if you're a World War II buff or a flower buff or a wine connoisseur. There's so many different options for you. So I'm so excited that they're going to put that along with all six of the itineraries. Absolutely. And I say contact Mindy if you have any questions or you've got any ideas. Maybe you want to include this with something different. We can certainly match up the rivers for you. Um, and you can spend a little extra time in Amsterdam and visit this amazing horticultural display. Yes. And, you know, you can do a back to back. It, it's horrible to fly over and just spend seven days. So why not? If you're going to go take the time, make the flight, stay for a couple weeks, explore so many different options that you can, the food, the wine, the culture, the history, there's so many options and we would love to assist anyone who wants to go. I do want to mention quickly, um, I love doing fundraising with Ama Waterways. So if you have an, a nonprofit organization that's looking for a very unique fundraising opportunity, this might be something we need to discuss because Ama Waterways and Anywhere But Here Travel love to do fundraising together. Absolutely. And we have some very, very successful fundraising opportunities. So um, please just contact Mindy and let her know and we can put something together special for you. And then we also do virtual events. So we can take anybody that you might think is interested or would like to see some of these parts of the world and take them on a journey virtually. And it has been very successful and always gets the energy level going and gets people to thinking about making those and planning those 
those special vacations that everybody has not had the opportunity to do for the past year and a half. Yes. <clears throat> well, Mars, I just want to tell you, thank you so much for joining me again today. It's been a lot of fun. I love our Taste of Travel Tuesdays and um, I look forward to the next one. We are doing another one tomorrow night about the Christmas markets on the Rhine for the Rhine Castles and Swiss Alps that we're actually taking a nice group to on December um, 13th, I believe, of 2021. So we'll be talking about that more tomorrow night. So I look forward to spending some more time with you then. Thank you, everyone.